Throughout the ages, acts of homosexuality have been documented. In Judaic Christian tradition, homosexuals are viewed as being sinful and liable to punishment from God as per the story of Sodom. From the perspective of evolution, we know homosexuality goes against natural laws, as without procreation between male and female, we would most probably be extinct. So where did homosexuality come from? And are some people born that way, or is it down to choice? According to the National Association for Research and Therapy of Homosexuality, there is nothing conclusive to suggest homosexuality is outright genetic. In fact, Dr. Dean Hamer, himself a gay man, stated that over half of the variability in sexual orientation is not inherited. Meanwhile, Jeffrey Satinova concludes that there is no evidence that shows that homosexuality is genetic, rather this is normally stated by the media when speaking sound bites to the public. So we can see from both a biblical as well as scientific angle, homosexuality is not considered a natural phenomenon. Rather, the evidence suggests environment and social pressures play a greater role. Perhaps a lack of self-esteem and confidence to build a relationship with the opposite sex. Suffice to say, individuals choose homosexuality by choice, coercion by their peers, or through an inability to form a relationship. The final question, therefore, is, is choosing to become homosexual a good thing? Sadly, one of the symptoms of homosexual behaviour is a number of diseases which have arisen amongst the gay community. An example of this is LGV, which is an aggressive form of chlamydia that has spread amongst gay men in Europe. At the end of the day, the choice is down to the individual, and that individual alone. However, there is a cost attached to this choice, which potentially could be very unpleasant.